Shire. X-Men Days of Future Past is out, and this is a movie I've been pumped up a lot for since they first announced it, and now I cannot get that theme song out of my head. Na 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 na. So it really got me looking back at some of the greatest X-Men games, and then that actually got me debating who the best X-Men were in those games. So now I have my top five list of X-Men in video games. Five. Now I'm starting off my list with my favorite of the X-Men, Gambit. And guess what? He was a gem of the character in Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2. Now the cards gave him a great range attack while he moves in for the fight, and then if you work his stats just right, he is a melee powerhouse. Now you utilize his kinetic energy just to destroy everyone. Plus, if the crowds come in, his staff slam is a lifesaver. <laughs> He's essential in any team up. <laughs> Next up is a tie, and the game is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and it goes to two of the only god tier characters in that game Storm and Magneto, the master of magnetism. Now, let me repeat those two words God tiered. Now, these characters were so broken, it was just messed up. Their range could not be stopped. Massive combos all from a distance just to pop you up, and then it's game over. You're stuck in the air with them, gone. See you later. So you take all of that madness, and then you team that up with like a really good up close fighter, and it just, it wasn't even fair. Just game over, like drop the controller, first hit, I'm done. See ya, next game. Three. Number three goes to everybody's favorite swashbuckling circus performer, the Blue Devil himself, Nightcrawler, Gutentag. If you remember one of my older top fives where I talk about superheroes that need their own game, Nightcrawler was at the top of that list. And mainly, most of that was drawn from him being a playable character in X-Men Legends 2. Now, just being able to teleport around the room, just kicking each and every enemy all around you, that was fantastic. But his double jump was also a teleport. Plus, when the rest of your team dies, just teleport your way back. Bam, 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 bam. Here's the save point. Get all my characters back. Nightcrawler saves the day. Two. Now, number two goes to one of my favorite superhero games, Deadpool. Now, yes, he was a part of the X-Men as well. Or at least he worked with them often enough to justify him being on this X-Men list. Now being able to teleport away from danger, pull out your double handguns, and then just go all bam 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 bam, bam on everyone, it's, just, it's fun. But then the guy's a fighter, so teleport back into the midst of danger and then just start hacking and slashing with your katanas. Wah! Such a fun video game that really embodied who Deadpool was. I highly recommend it if you haven't played it yet. Do it. Ooh, ooh, we just had the greatest idea for a level in the game. Tits! One. And finally, at number one, there is another tie, but not for the X-Men this time. My top pick obviously goes to Wolverine, but in a combination of two different games. Now you have Wolverine Origins and X2 Wolverine's Revenge. Now, Wolverine's Revenge is a forgotten game that really stays under the radar, and it came out around the time as X2, but was the good movie game, not that other piece of shit game that ruined Nightcrawler. This game was very heavy on the stealth mechanic and really showed Wolverine as the animal that he was. Sniffing out the enemy, sneaking around corners, and then have these sexy takedowns that just destroy your enemy. Ah, felt good. And then X-Men Origins, <laughs> which was so much better than the movie, portrays him as the brutally violent fighter that he is. Like the opening cutscene alone has him stabbing an enemy in the head through a wall. This is who Wolverine is, guys. He's a monster. You do not want to f with him. This is the guy that the Hulk broke in half, threw his lower torso up a mountain, and then he just crawled up the mountain, half his body, got it back. He's a beast, but not Beast. Beast is the other X-Men. He's not on this list. Everyone calls me Wolverine. I don't remember other names. There you go, folks. The best X-Men characters in video games. Now, how do you feel about this list? Let me know on Twitter. I'm at the Jovenshire. Also, if you didn't know, kind of a big X-Men fan. So if you get bored, hop over to my YouTube channel where I recreate the 90s cartoon intro with live action footage from the movies. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.
That's Jobin's top five? Mine would have been way different. Be sure to check out his top five comic book characters that need their own games and maybe peek in on the 16-bit high kids as they get some physical education. <laughs>